On this part, I'm going to show you how, again, this if statement is applied to a different scenario, in this case for the plastic bag in here. So if the, the player is touching the plastic bag, you will know that by now, uh, this will be, you know, executed, triggered. So first, you will ask this question, and then whatever the answer, yes, so in this case, if the answer is yes, great, or or means that it can be one thing or the other, yes. I like tea or chocolate, so you like both things. So if that is yes, or the word that you type in there contains course. Yes, I was thinking of typing of course. So instead of typing of course, I just can put, you know, course, and that'll be right as well. So as long as you type yes, or of course, or both of them together, then this part will be executed. Otherwise, this other part. So let's have a look at that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the pen now, see if I can do it right. So if I move now towards the back, click. Now I touch it, then this one gets executed, the outline gets executed, and if I say, for instance, of course, yeah, I'll say thank you for keeping jersey clean and we'll wait for four seconds yeah and we'll have 10 more points so before i have another 10 with the crap and now with mr snappy and now have another 10 yes else this message will be displayed now this happens all the time yes when i say here forever forever is repeat in this case repeat always all the time yeah and this forever is this part in here yeah this part in here so that means that always pay attention the game is always listening is always waiting for this to happen so it's forever means repeat this always so it will sit in the background of your game so whenever you touch in this case the plastic bag this will be triggered yeah it doesn't have to be at a particular time or the beginning or the end no any time because that'll be forever as soon as you click the green flag this will be yeah in execution and it means forever listen yeah now this forever uh, this part of uh, all this set of commands that they are quite handy as i said quite handy and it's to do with controls yes you can repeat something a number of times Imagine that, let's go back to uh, making the wall, yeah, just put one brick, then repeat with another brick, and then repeat another brick, repeat that hundred times, and hopefully you end up with a wall. Making a, a cake, you know, crack an egg, crack another egg, crack another egg, so I don't need to tell you every time to crack an egg, I say, do the same, crack an egg, do it 10 times and you will do it 10 times. I know how to repeat myself 10 times. And that's the, 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 the great thing about the repeat. We call that iteration or loops. But the, the right word for that computing word because we are very particular about this kind of thing. The same thing that if and else we call selection because you select you know, a path depending of a condition. The same thing goes for the forever and repeat, we call that iteration. You repeat something, yeah? You can call it loop. But iteration is a better word for it. So basically, this is another component, yeah? And notice that I keep repeating some of the components because once you have a good understanding of what those components can do, yes, the only thing is just for you to start thinking about a scenario, and then you start putting all those things together. The same thing is like an architect, yeah? First, you have to see, to visualize that building. And once I had the building in his head, the rest is just about putting the bricks here or there. Right, so this is to do with iteration, and if in here, and this part as well, which is quite interesting and, and, and advanced as well, if you want to know, uh, you're gonna be doing that at this point in year seven, However, this is some of the things that in the GCSE exam for computing that is included as well. So you'll have a head start on that one. 
right i stop now and uh, next one uh, i'm gonna be talking about uh, input input boxes yeah uh, how you interact with the user right so i'm gonna stop this